Removing macOS 26 update and downgrade to macOS Sequoia is easy. We can do it in three steps. First, back up your Mac completely. Downgrading or removing the beta profile will erase it to its factory default. The second step is to create a bootable drive on a Mac. Then, the third step is to install macOS Sequoia on your Mac. Let's get started. Connect an external drive to your Mac as a Time Machine backup drive, then open System Settings. Select General from the left side of the window and click on Time Machine. Add Backup Disk. Select the drive connected to your Mac and backup your Mac before proceeding with the next step. Once you take a Time Machine backup, download macOS Sequoia from the App Store. Search in Google macOS Sequoia in the Mac App Store, open the link and the link will be redirected to the App Store. Download macOS Sequoia on your Mac and create a bootable drive using the terminal command. Don't continue with the option, quit installing macOS from the top menu, and select the quit option to close the installation window. As you can see on the video screen, the recently downloaded macOS Sequoia file is saved under the finder in the Applications folder. Now. Open Terminal and type the command display on the screen. Replace volume with your drive name. Now, hit the return key to run the command and enter your MacBook login password. Wait for your USB installer drive to be ready for use. Once you get a message, Media Now available at. Keep your drive connected to your Mac. Shut down your Mac and wait for 10 seconds. Then press and hold the power button until you see the message, continue holding for startup option, and loading startup option. Finally, as you can see on the screen, start up volume with the options on the screen. Click on option. As you can see my MacBook is in macOS recovery screen. Select account and enter your MacBook login password and continue with the option. And select disk utility from the window pop-up. And continue with the option. Here, you have to erase your drive because we cannot install macOS 15 on a macOS 26 installed drive. Select Macintosh HD from the left side of the window and select the Erase option from the top of the window. Continue with the Erase Mac option. Select Erase Mac and the Restart option. Wait for your drive to be erased completely. Your MacBook will reboot once and show the active Mac screen. Connect your Mac to Wi-Fi from the top right corner of the screen. Enter your Apple ID and password that you used for macOS 26 Tahoe. After verify successfully, finally, your Mac is activated. Now, close this window or exit to recovery. Here's the option to install a new copy of macOS Sequoia Public. But I suggest you ignore this option because you may get a different installation error. Now, from the top menu, click on the Apple logo and restart your MacBook. As you can see black screen on your MacBook, press and hold the power button until you see the continue holding for startup option and loading startup options. As you can see click on your bootable installer drive, install macOS Sequoia. Continue with your language and follow the on-screen setup and continue. And start macOS Sequoia installation, wait and select primary installation MacBook drive, here I am selecting Macintosh HD and continue. Wait for the installation to complete itself. During the installation, your MacBook will restart many times. Don't interrupt the process. Enter your MacBook name, personal details like Mac login password and setup related details like keychain, touch ID and more. As you can see, my MacBook is updated with the macOS Sequoia final public version. Continue, go to Apple logo from the top menu and check under the about this Mac option, my MacBook installed macOS Sequoia final public version. That's it. Now I am signing off. See you guys and let me in the next video. Post your questions in the comment box for help. Don't forget to like and subscribe for a new free tech guide video update.